The NBA Combine list has officially been unveiled, and two cats made the cut, which is about what we mm -hmm. expected. Ty Ty Washington and Shaden Sharp have been invited to work out for an interview with NBA teams. It'll all take place in Chicago next week, beginning on Wednesday. Now, remember, the G League has its own Combine next Monday and Tuesday. Kellen Grady and Keon Brooks were invited to that one. And any standouts from the G League camp could be called up to do it all again starting the next day at the NBA Combine. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that. Yes, that's happened to a few cats before, so we'll be keeping a close eye on that. And for me, the surprising thing here is no Jacob Toppin on either list. We expected him to come back to school regardless, but I'm surprised he isn't getting to go through these workouts, get this extra feedback. But the good news for BBN, we're still expecting him to be back in a Kentucky uniform next season. And speaking of next season, 24-7 Sports released its final recruiting rankings for next year's class. Here's where the Cats came in. Kaysen Wallace at number five overall. Chris Livingston at 15 and the latest addition, Adu Theroux at 124. Anna Wallace at number five. If you exclude Shaden Sharp because he you know, didn't come in with his class, didn't play, et cetera, et cetera. This is the first time Kentucky has signed a 24-7 sports top five recruit since Scalabissier in 2015. What? Throwback. That yeah. surprises me. So I'm glad that we're back to this. We're right? back. <laughs> we're back, baby. All right. We showed you an in-depth story on Abby Steiner and her quest for her first SEC Outdoor Championship title last night. If you missed it, that's on BBNTonight.com right now. Mm -hmm. Her best shot is in the 200-meter dash. The finals of that event are scheduled for Saturday at 7 25 p.m. on the SEC Network Plus. Yes, but until then, she does have something else to celebrate. She's the SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year. It is technically a repeat title for Abby because she earned the same title during the sports indoor season. We all know what Steiner has done on the track this year, but this award also recognizes her success in the classroom, and she graduated with a bachelor's degree in kinesiology just last week, so big congratulations to Abby Steiner, and good luck to her this weekend. We'll keep you updated. I love that graduation pic. It's awesome. so cute. The Kentucky women's golf team season has come to an end, unfortunately, as the Cats missed the qualifying cut to advance to the NCAA finals. Kentucky put up a good fight in the three-day Stanford Regional, but ended the rounds 23 over par, including 44 birdies and 39 bogeys. Lainey Fry led the way. The Lexington native completed the regional tied for 12th at one over par. Fry, as well as junior Jensen Castle, will be competing as amateurs in the U.S. Women's Open beginning on June 2nd. And current Kentucky men's golfer Jacob Cook is just one day's worth of golf away from qualifying for the U.S. Open himself. He came in tied for first place yesterday at a local qualifier. Cook shot a 66, which is six under par. He notched seven birdies against just one bogey during the round. So now he's going to move on to the final qualifying round. That'll be on June the 6th. But before that, the team as a whole has some business to take care of. The Cats NCAA tournament run starts at the Columbus Regional this coming Monday, May 16th. Now, coming up next, former Cat Avery Williamson is going to join us with his take on this year's NFL draft, how it went for the Cats, and who landed in the best situations. That's right after the break, right here on BBN Tonight.